gain. Bush said the huge deficit was incredibly positive news because it will create a fiscal straitjacket uh, for Congress. That's right, massive deficits were incredibly positive news. Oh, Mr. Speaker, I got a little tired of hearing our colleagues say what the Democrats haven't done. Let me tell you what we've done. We've done the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act. We've done the Worker Home Ownership and Business Assistance Act. We've done health insurance reform, student aid and fiscal responsibility. The Cash for Clunkers program alone spurred the sale of 700,000 vehicles. We have done hiring incentives to restore our uh, Employment Act. Uh, that helped create 300,000 jobs. When they talk in terms of uh, the stimulus, the teachers, the police officers, and the firefighters, when you ask them whether or not their jobs were saved, I'll guarantee you they'll give you an answer. We did Wall Street reform, passed by the House. American Workers State and Business Relief Act, passed by the House and Senate. Small Business and Infrastructure Jobs Tax Act, tax act passed by the House. And for those on the other side who argue that there haven't been any tax cuts, there have been tax cuts, but those tax cuts were for middle-class Americans, 93 percent of whom received a tax cut. We've done disaster or relief and Summer Jobs Act passed by the House, and it died over there in the Senate, and that's regrettable and foolish. Uh, we have done Jobs for Main Street Act passed by the House. What's next? Small business lending, clean energy job, and the Competes Act. I can assure you we've done a lot and have a lot more to do, and many of the things that I just spoke of create jobs. My colleagues see this legislation as a handout or a luxury, but to the millions who are dependent on us to act, the extension of unemployment benefits will make the difference between whether they can put food on the table, pay their rent, and just get by. Years of bad economic and fiscal to our present situation, and there is no switch we can throw to provide an instant fix. In my home state of Florida, 147,000 individuals will run out of unemployment benefits. I haven't met these people, but I read about their plight. People like Joan McCammon of Kissimmee, a 50-year-old former administrative assistant who's been out of work for over a year. Though she and her husband tried to be prepared without this assistance, they'll have to dip into their retirement savings just to make ends meet. She's not much different from Pandora Evans of Fort Pierce in my congressional district, who's been unemployed for almost two years after losing her job at a service station. Her benefits have run out, and as her bills have piled up, to the point where she may soon be homeless. And there's Joe Becker of Jupiter, Florida, who's applied for nearly 400 jobs, has put himself through additional training, and is still unable to find work. These are all the only three of the 3.2 million Americans who stand to lose unemployment compensation if we do not act positively. This is not mere charity for them. I urge my colleagues to pass this much-needed extension and urge them to support this uh, rule, Mr. Speaker. I urge a yes vote, yield back my time, and urge a yes vote on the previous question, and yield the balance of the time. The gentleman's time has expired. Without objection, the previous question is ordered. The question is on adoption of the resolution. All those in favor say aye. Those opposed, no. The ayes have it. M Mr. General, Speaker.